So we're up to chapter nine. This is kind of a fun chapter. Um, last chapter, we did the basics of recording inventory, um, you know, recording, valuing, classifying, all that good stuff. Um, and so chapter nine, we get into some other inventory issues that were not covered in chapter eight. Two main categories of issues, valuation issues, um, we'll get into what they call unique uh, valuation problems. And then uh, the other part, that's kind of a little more exciting part, or it can be, is estimating inventory. How to estimate inventory when you can't count it for some reason, like it's gone. Uh, you know, this chapter covers things like floods, fires, robberies, earthquakes, things like that that tend to destroy in inventory. Um, so we have the two basic sections. Uh, it starts off with the valuation part, where we'll do lower of cost or net realizable value, and lower of cost or market. Um, then, keeping with the valuation part of the chapter, uh, we'll do just a very briefly on net realizable value. You need to know what that is, um, but uh, it's very in industry specific. Um, and then um, we'll do things like how to value inventory when you do a lump sum purchase of a whole bunch of different types of inventory, um, and then purchase commitments. Um, okay, then you get on to the ways of estimating ending inventory uh, when you really don't want to count it, or it's an interim period, or you know, for whatever other reason. And that's where we get to the gross profit method and the retail method. Uh, and then we usually do the uh, ending of the presentation and analysis and a little comparison with the international standards. So um, this chapter, I get some uh, resources that you can use on Blackboard. There's the usual, um, you know, what you need to know. Uh, there's also a chapter outline that just kind of might be helpful. And then I did post the PowerPoints right in this intro section because they're, for this chapter, they're really pretty good um, and they may be helpful in sort of walking through the whole process. Okay, so uh, chapter nine, we'll finish off our um, time with inventories and then we'll move on to the next set of assets, the property, plant, and equipment um, for a few classes and then we'll have another exam. Okay, so that's the uh, intro for chapter nine.